Oh, that's a hog. He's got it. Oh, he's got it. That's a tank. Don't pull it. Don't force it. Don't force it. Don't force it. Oh, my gosh. Woo! Hey, welcome to Hooked on Utah. We've got a cold, crisp adventure for you today. We're on Strawberry. We've got the team from SureCan, and we're going to try to bass tackle it up for some big old cutties. So sit back, relax, bundle up, stay warm. It's going to be a great adventure. All right, so what we're gonna be using today, we're gonna to start out with uh, some Lucky Craft Pointer 78 minnows. This time of year, this is an awesome bait for up here, and I wanna show you the technique. And folks, it is cold, 10 degrees, so the fingers don't work as well. What you wanna do with this, we're trying to get the big active fish. So you're just gonna simply make a cast out. When it hits the water, all I'm doing is twitch, 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 pause. Twitch, 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 pause. And those fish will come up and they'll grab it hard. You'll know immediately, there's no guessing. It's gonna be bang when they hit it. And when they hit it, you don't need to set the hook. They're gonna set it themselves. And um, then just give them, it's, we're on light line, six pound test. So you don't have to really just rip, just boom, hold it tight, start reeling, let them fight. But they will just come up and clobber it. So. We're gonna fish this technique for just a little bit, and then if we don't pick anything up, we'll move deeper with tube jigs. So we'll start out with the Lucky Craft and see where it goes. Oh, there we go, fish on. Fish on, man. Here's our first fish of the day right here. Right off this point, man. I love it, big cut, look at this. There we go, look at that cut. Look at all those colors on that fish. Get a net up here. I love this because these fish right now are in their colors and look at that. There we go. Now this is the downside to this. You gotta get your hands wet. I'm gonna grab my pliers. Kev, there's some pliers right by the throttle control right there, some silver ones. I'm gonna hit my anchor lock. And we will unhook this bad boy and just leave him in the net and show him to you. Oh, look, we're already unhooked. Check that fish out. So that's a good 16 inch cut, fall colors. And uh, look at how beautiful the fins are. Getting all red, these big fish are, they're gonna be rolling in. Hopefully, we're gonna catch more like this and we're gonna find bigger. So we'll go ahead and just slide him back in. Since it's so cold, 10 degrees, I don't wanna touch him. Way too cold for me. And look at that, he's ready to get out of the net and gone. Boom, fish number one on our fall technique. And uh, man, I got a good feeling about today other than my fingers don't work. It's gonna be good. There we go, fish home, baby, yeah. Just keep her tight. Let it fight, man. Awesome. 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 Oh, yeah. He's there. Yeah. Maybe you do have a log. Yeah, the cutties are funny. They'll swim to you, and then once they see it, they want to get out of here. Yep, just let him take it and run. We'll get him perfect. Look at this. This is a great fall fish right here. Cuddy's on the jerk bait. Yeah, we'll, we'll find him up here in little groups like this. Look at that right there. Hey, hey, there's a gorgeous Cuddy. Check that out. I'm gonna grab my pliers. We're gonna pop that guy free. He might already be free. Not quite, he's hooked right here in the beak. 
Now he's free. Look at that, look how gorgeous that fish is. That's a beautiful fish right there. What do you think, first, first full cutty? Uh, you gonna hold him? You're brave, watch those trebles. That's what I was just gonna do. All right, you wanna hold him or should we just yeah, net release him? Yeah, We're gonna net release him, here we go. I love the net release, gone. It's so cold this time of year, if you touch the fish, it's brutal your hands just don't recover. Kevin's back there curled up in a ball right now shivering. So we're, uh, we got it going, man. That's two fish in, in not very long. We've probably spent more time working out some casting technique here in the cold. The eyelets freeze up. And so it takes a bit to get it flowing, but uh, now we got it going on, man. Whacked it on my purple ghost Yozuri. That's kind of a cool bait. And uh, they love the action and the flash. So. Mm, I love it. I love this time of year. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Fish on, baby. Fish on. On the pause. It hit the water. I twitched once and the fish was on. Oh, and he's off. He came off. Came unbuttoned, but we're right in the zone. We're in this flat that's about eight to 10 feet deep. The cuts are stacked up in here and uh, it's gonna be good, I love it. K-Dog is on! It's <laughs> a monster, I think it's that one. Dude, that I love one. it. Dude, we're gonna need the net for this one. <laughs> we need the net for this one. <laughs> Swing that bad boy in there. <laughs> yeah, look at that, dude. Check that out, that's almost as big as the bait. <laughs> I love it. There's our first little fish. I'm gonna grab the pliers up here. Oh, I love it. Get the pliers going on this bad boy. Here's what's funny, look at this little bow, man. He's, he wanted that. Get him undone. Dude, he took that entire hook in there. There we go. Look at that little guy. That's awesome. Healthy little bow. We're gonna let him go, unless you wanna put him in your pocket. I'm good. I... All right. Cabin, fish number one. That's a fish for each of us, and uh, we're rocking and rolling. Let him go. He's gone. And it's on like Donkey Kong. Boom, go. I love it. Team sure can, baby. That's a good fish. There we go, there's a cut, maybe. Yeah, that's a cut. See him tumbling right there? There's a better cut right there. And, and it was right off that point. That's what we're looking for. Look at that, there's a tube cut for you right there. Nice work, Kev. Look at how beautiful that fish is. That's a good fish, he's 18, 19. That's what you wanna catch through the ice too. Look at the colors, look how gorgeous. That is a stunning fish. That's what we're talking about right there, man. Absolutely love it. Some of these points, this is where the big cuts will be hanging out, but this technique right here, just this tube, tube jig and a worm, they love it. It's a great technique for up here. You look at those specks in there, matches the specks in, the, in that cut. He thinks it's just a baby fish and he's just gonna pound it. So there we go, we'll put him back. Fish on. Yeah, there we go. No there we go. It. Dude, it's a tank. Woo. <laughs> they don't call him Big Fish Cab for nothing. You got those pliers. Got them right here. At least I did. There they are. All right, Kev. Man, those, are, those baby rainbows love me. So there's a bunch of bows in here this size. This is this year's planner. And, and next year, that's going to be a solid fish for eating. He's gone, but that's that's fun fishing. It's kind of a fun active technique, isn't it? It is. It's, it's a, a fun. it's a blast. If we can get his giant gloves off, because that's hindering him, but you know, it's so cold. My I can't feel the tips of my fingers. They're gone. I'm just doing it by braille now. So oh yeah, we got two. This is what I love. 
you find a spot like this and you're gonna get multiple fish. Now that's a better fish. I like it. No, I, I like it, better. getting the net. Oh, it's a bow. This is what I was talking about. You'll find, you'll find these bows in groups like those little schools where um, you end up catching several of the same size. And uh, I'm gonna grab my pliers. Nobody knocked that net in. Awesome. Yeah, Brad. There you go. That's not what we're looking for, but we'll take it. I'll take that any day of the week. You know, we just had that out. There we go. And now I got those in. And now I got it in my glove. Chaos! Okay, here we go. <laughs> Gosh. This is why I love the rubber net because usually it just comes right out. I've got the um, I've got the anchor lock set. So I'll show you. So we'll let this little guy go. Take a look. There you go. Nice little fish. But we'll want the bigger ones. He's gone. All right, so Brad just asked me if I was leaning on the remote. And one thing I love about my Minn Kota boat, or the Minn Kota trolling motor, I've got the Oterra on there. It's anchor lock. And if, you, if you're not familiar, what anchor lock does is this uses a GPS system. So I just go up and push on my remote the anchor button. And it holds me in this spot so that we can mess with the fish. Um, if you're retying in the wind, it'll hold the boat there no matter what. Um, in that five foot circle, it's gonna keep us right there so we can do what we are doing with this fish and I don't have to worry about drifting into the shore or being moved off the spot where we just caught the fish. So it's gonna sit there and just pivot and hold us. So if you're looking for a new trolling motor, you head up to Rogers Performance Marine, you ask them for a Minn Kota with anchor lock, put it on your boat, doesn't matter, new, old, used, you will love the Minn Kota with anchor lock. So give it a try. There you go. There you go. That's, than That's what I'm talking about right there. Another bigger. No, a little bigger. No, that's a good fish. Hey, look at that. That's a good bow. There you go. Nice. There we go. On our tube technique, finally. I get a free sure can now. He gets a brand new free sure can, two and a half gallon. That's a sure can. It's actually the two plus. That's my favorite size. You can call it what you want. <laughs> nice little bow. That right there now if you were going to take one home for the smoker i think that's a great size they're firm great do you want to put that in your pocket let's uh let's let him go let her go great Someone looking bow okay there we go and give him a bump he's gone dude you're like high stick in the boat right now you know that i am i'm i am that's uh i think brad has uh oh brad just now. had a hit and missed it i love it he just had another one So when you're, when you're fishing this kind of fishing, um, I think something that's really important is you gotta have a really good pair of sunglasses. And, and I absolutely, absolutely love these pugs. They've got one of their new lenses and it's really for these, these gray overcast days, low light, it really brightens everything up, up. But what it does do, the polarizing on them is phenomenal. You can see way deep in the water and, and see, you know, cut away all that glare. Kev? I want you to throw those on and now look in the water and tell me what you think putting those uh, pugs on. See what I'm talking about? Oh yeah. That's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, that's a big difference. It's a huge difference. You can actually see. So on some of these fish, I've actually been watching and so is Kevin, but his big, huge fish he just caught, I could see it way down there and everything like it was just in the air. Check them out at Pugs. You can get them at PugsGear.com, Sportsman's Warehouse, or a local Maverick. It's a great pair of glasses. That's a good one. That's the one you've been looking for. He's staying down, I like it. Oh yeah. You get a look at him yet? I'm gonna come underneath you. That's, that's gonna be a good, oh yes. Yeah, that's a good fish. 
That's a good fish right there. Look at that, that's solid. Look how long, holy cow. That fish, that fish has the head and the body of a four pound fish. Snake? Yeah, he's a snake, but look how cool that is. That is cool. These types of techniques will produce really good fish all year long. Searching sideways. Yes, yes, there's a good fish. That's what we're talking about. Net, net, net. That a boy. Where is he? Ring. Swing his head. That's a that's a that's the fish of the Oh! And then that guy was there for you. Look at that. There's a tank. That's a piggy right there. Yeah. So you're gonna have to get your hands wet on this one because you gotta hold that up. There is a quality, quality cut. Look at that. It's a strawberry cut right there. Look at the colors, look how beautiful. Woo! Pretty fish. That's a gorgeous fish. Solid, that's a solid three, maybe pushing four pounds. That's a good cut. Look at the colors. He's trying to go down already. Gone. Don't pull it, don't force it, don't force it, don't force it. Oh my gosh! Woo! Holy Are you kidding me? Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's a hog. Woo! Holy cow. That's six pounds right there, baby. That is an absolute giant. <laughs> Kelp. Look at that fish. That's a giant. And look, he took that tube deep. He just inhaled it. Look at the colors on that fish. Let's give him a little drink of water. We won't let him out. All right, Kev, if you'll hold that, I'm gonna pop that tube out. Oh my gosh! That's a pig! <laughs> That's a pig! Where'd my pliers go? Oh my gosh, I think they're right up front. They're right, Brad's got those, okay. Holy cow. Dude, you did it, played it just perfect. You might have been a little aggressive on getting him to the boat, but that guy, boom, and he was barely skin hooked. That's a huge, huge fish. We got to get a picture with you with this guy. Let's bring him in. I got your net. Let's, let's move this rod out of the way, and we'll get a good picture of you holding him, because that's, that's a fish of a lifetime right up here. Look at the size of that cut. That's a behemoth. So scoop him with both hands and I'll just keep the net underneath him. So if he goes to drop, he drops in the net. And uh, that's, a, that's a pig, dude. Absolute pig. That, you got him? Oh, he's got, he got his teeth and the, there we go. All right. Get your arm behind that tail Get that this way. Look at that. Step, take a step back. Now hold that bad boy out. That's a pig. That's a gorgeous fish right there. Look at the size of that fish. Woo! Hogzilla, baby! <laughs> yep, we can put him in the net. We'll just put him over the side. We'll, let, we'll revive this guy. Oh, look, he's ready. Look at the colors. Kevin, oh, look at that, dude. He just, he's like, I'm out of here. Had enough of us. Woo! Holy cow, dude. There's a rag right there. Okay. That is fall fishing at Strawberry. I'm telling you, that's the kind of fish that are here and that this technique, tubes or jerk baits, will produce. And we've just gotten better and better. And that was a hog, dude. He came up, followed your tube circled it, you dropped it back down, he went down there and he just goes, poop, and the two was like, poop, gone. That was awesome. Well played, man. You scared me with my four pound test when you started hoisting him in the boat. Oh, that's sweet! Yes, I love it. 